Hi everyone. I hope you're all keeping well and staying at home in order to keep everyone healthy and safe from COVID-19. At the moment, we're all focused on our immune health. And as a mum, I'm particularly conscious of keeping my baby's immune system strong, especially now with COVID-19 going around. One way I can make sure my babies have a strong immune system is by providing them with lots of natural vitamin C through organic fruit and veggies. So how exactly does vitamin C benefit our immune system? Well, to start with, vitamin C is an essential micronutrient responsible for hundreds of metabolic functions within the body. It is an important cofactor for collagen synthesis in the skin, neurotransmitter function for healthy brain cognition, absorption of plant-based sources of iron known as non-heme iron, antioxidant support, and vitamin C also plays an important role in the formation and functioning of our immune cells. So as the human body can't manufacture vitamin C, we are entirely dependent on obtaining it through dietary sources. And being a water soluble vitamin, vitamin C is not able to be stored within the body and therefore daily and frequent consumption is required to maintain sufficient cellular vitamin C levels. In simple terms, if you don't eat enough vitamin C, your body doesn't have the resources to be able to fight back when you encounter virus or bacteria. So when we look at vitamin C specifically for immune health, there are a few mechanisms in which vitamin C comes in. Due to its role in collagen synthesis, vitamin C strengthens our epithelial barriers such as the skin and mucous membranes. So this is the thin tissue that forms the surface of the skin and passages such as the nasal passages. And these are our body's first line of defense against foreign pathogens. You can think of it as the body's security guard, not letting any of the bad guys in. Additionally, vitamin C exerts immunostimulatory effects on lymphocyte cells. So these are the main white blood cells that are involved in defense against bacteria and virus. Along with being a potent antioxidant, vitamin C has been shown to enhance overall immune cell function, resulting in the killing and clearance of pathogenic microbes, supporting the inflammatory response and assisting in wound and tissue healing. Deficiencies of micronutrients such as vitamin C can impact the physical and mental growth of babies and children, as well as resulting in impaired immunity and a higher susceptibility to infections. In fact, recent research has found that vitamin C is significantly beneficial in reducing the severity and the duration of the common cold virus. A recent meta-analysis, so this is a type of study that combines the results of multiple scientific studies to draw a final conclusion. So this study found that doses of 200 milligrams or more provided a significant benefit in reducing the severity of the common cold virus. In this study, they found that children actually responded much better to the vitamin C than adults, with a reduction in cold duration of 13.6% compared to adults who had a reduction of 8%. Vitamin C has also been shown to help with asthma and reduce the severity of symptoms with respiratory conditions. In a study that compared supplementation of combined vitamin C and vitamin E of asthmatic children with those taking a placebo, it was found that the vitamin C group had a reduced impact from airborne pollution, indicating that vitamin C and vitamin E provide protection to the lungs. Now, even at high doses, vitamin C is safe because anything the body does not need will simply be excreted via the urine. Vitamin C has very low toxicity and does not cause any serious side effects. The worst that can happen if you do take too much supplemental vitamin C is you may get a temporary upset stomach, but that will only happen if you have really high doses of around 2000 milligrams or more. To put that into perspective, that will be the equivalent of eating about 38 oranges all in one go. Some good sources of vitamin C include pears, bananas, citrus fruits, apples, nectarine, mango, kiwi fruit, pumpkin, and sweet potato. Now with all this self isolation, keeping your house stocked with fresh fruits and veggies is difficult. And I'm not even sure at the moment I want to eat fresh fruits and veggies because who knows who has touched it or if it may be harboring COVID-19. So we're kind of faced with a difficult situation at the moment as we're needing to keep our immune system strong. And in particular, I'm really focused on making sure my babies have all the nutrition they need to keep their immune system
system healthy. This is why I like using the Little Etoile organic pouches, as I know they are getting all the goodness of organic, real food ingredients providing the energy and nutrients to support their immune system. The recommended dietary intake of vitamin C for babies and children is 30 milligrams per day. Now keep in mind this is the bare minimum that your child needs to maintain normal health. The Little Etoile Organic Pear, Mango and Banana contains 200 milligrams of vitamin C and the Apple Pear Banana combination contains 150 milligrams of vitamin C which is well over the minimum requirement that your child needs for their vitamin C intake. Using the Little Etoile pouches is a little peace of mind knowing that my babies can enjoy a safe source of vitamin C and other nutrients to keep them healthy. Comment below with natural immune boosters that work for you. Thank you for watching, see you next time.